Well, it's still acting weird. Well, I'm gonna have to adjust my timing chain, I guess. I heard you just tighten it until it's tight. Go back to wherever you can put this pin back in. chain was loose I tighten that up a little bit that wasn't it I thought my that sucks man well it was my belt all along that was fun I knew it was my belt I was debating if it was, oh, I got, I got a piece of belt burning on the fucking... Uh, I don't want to catch my sled on fire. I got pieces of belt on the exhaust. Catch it on fire. Well, it was my belt all along. That's hilarious. Felt like it was going bad, but I looked, it looked brand new. But you can see it exploded. Really, I have my tool cut here. <sighs> Interesting. This thing goes through belts. Every year I go through at least two belts on this sled. I brought it back to the shop. And they said it could be because these aren't aligned properly. So they realign them. And I don't know. Nothing changed. Still every 300 miles I go through a brand new belt. Snowmobiling gets pretty expensive. Every 300 miles you have to do this. <sighs> well, sure everyone knows how to take a belt off, but there's the kit. You find this little ordeal. Screw it in where the arrow is until it opens your rear clutch all the way 
and you can slide the belt off. And these long tracks, man, I seem I feel like this long track goes through more belts because of the long track itself. My short track, 03, I put 800 miles on one belt. Never had an issue. Now they get all the shit out of the sled. Wow, that's hot. Got a bunch of crap wrapped up in here now. That should be fun to try getting out. Interesting. I had to get wrapped this bad. I already cut myself. <sighs> that almost looks like a good Samaritan. Blew my belt. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Good Samaritan. Well, too big and tenured. I'm going to rip this the hell off. Yeah, so I got the belt the rest of the way off. It was just all wrapped in there super bad. So the only thing I wanted to really add is when you put a new belt on, you'll see rotation. Make sure you put it the right way. If you don't know what way that is, come over here. Give it a little... Oh, I see that it goes forward. So now you know how it goes forward. So you just slide this back on. Sometimes it can be easy. Sometimes it can be a pain. Too bad. Oh, I got it. Let me just release. Unscrew this out of the way. So don't think you're done yet. Make sure you push your sled or roll it backwards so it closes the clutch back up and grabs this belt. You want to just start your sled up and gun it. But as I release this, I'll close it up. But it won't go all the way. Usually it'll get stuck. I'll show you here in a second. Now I need to spend another $100 on a belt. Hopefully this one can last 200 miles. $110 every 300 miles. Ridiculous. Now, see how loose it is? Some people might just, oh, I'm done, start the sled up. But you can see that the clutch is still half engaged. Let's see if I can use the wall this thing. Works. Right. There we go. There he is. That's great for my back. He's getting there. I'll keep closing up. There we go. This is what I get for riding in these conditions.
There you go. I'm exhausted. I'm sweating. Brand new belt on. Back on the road I go. Literally. Always pick up your crap. Don't leave it on the trail. Yeah, you may think the next couple minutes will be buried in the snow. Because it's snowing so hard. No, you can't see it anymore. But in springtime, up at Tug Hill and anywhere, when the snow melts, your guys' trash is everywhere. So respect the trails, you city folks.